through. All right, could you please bring me to Ambosig Tom? So good morning. This is um, this is actually a very good morning um, because this is a special morning for me. I'm now returning to the place where I've been working frequently. Um, a long time ago, I'm going to visit the facility of Motorola Solutions here in Berlin. This location here in Berlin, that's where they're doing the FATs, the Factory Acceptance Test of Tetra Networks. Uh, it's an integration center and we're gonna have a tour around the repair center, uh, the FIT center and uh, much 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 more. Also the innovation center although many of the solutions from the innovation center are exhibited already at Critical Communications World. Before getting the tour, I need to register first, so I got a badge, probably. Wolf? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, danke schön. Motorola Solutions has had so many shipments of Tetra already. Of course, I'm not able to uh, to film all of the uh, all of the shipments over here, but just take a look. These are all shipments, all Tetra shipments over the last how many years? Oh, I'm not able to film everywhere, so. <laughs> Let's take a look here. This is the integration center. At the end of the repair center, um, there are so many systems over here already. They have implemented over the last years. Only the factory is still the same 10 years ago, but the way Waterola Solutions is working is much more leaner. So the systems have become much smaller, and from an IT point of view, um, they have been more effective as well. So. The facility is still the same size. That's the repair center over there. And as a matter of fact, it's good to be back, actually. Nothing has changed. And it's still very quiet on the floor here. So basically the factory is, is very clean, it's very bright, it's a very nice environment to work in and there are lots of windows here as well so you know there's a lot of daylight. This location is where all the FATs are being done. Uh, all kinds of countries who are having a system to be tested before it's going to be shipped out. Now we're heading to the Innovation Center. Actually, this Innovation Center was on the first floor, as I can remember, a long time ago. Okay, just a very short slide to explain what we have set up here. We have a Tetra system, which still is the most reliable voice communication system we've done. So you can There's a large group of journalists here. They're from Israel, they're from Africa, South Africa, uh, from Europe, from Czech Republic, from Germany as well, from the Netherlands. Um, they're all being informed how the innovation center works, what kind of solutions Motorola is having to support critical communication from Wave 5000, Wave 7000 to this device over here, which is the body cam of Motorola solutions. So the, uh, the tour is almost over, that was about an hour time. Of course I'm not able to show everything here in the facility because there are a lot of systems here being staged. Uh, and tested at a moment from organizations around the world that rather like to be um This is the end of the facility tour of Motorola Solutions. Actually, it has been exactly eight years ago I've been here for the last time. Actually, nothing has changed because don't change things if they're really good. We're now going to the group again. So that's the visit of Motorola Solutions here. Uh, here in Berlin, it's about a half an hour drive to the Messe right now. In the meantime, it's become 10 minutes past 11, so it's time to visit the exhibition. I'm 
just checking if what Paul Steinberg told me, if that is true. Paul Steinberg, in an interview at IWC 2018 in Orlando, told me in a 360 interview that Motorola is moving towards more software solutions. Um, definitely on that wall, it's definitely true. Command and control over here. Robin push the talk over there. Cyber security over here. Then we have a dead corner over there. Disaster relief operations over a lot of software as well. So we get LT priority man management, team collaboration, license shares access. Then we have here the controlling the capacity max system over here, control room solutions over there, waveboard push to talk solutions over here. It's it's definitely what Paul Steinberg told me. It's more about software, that's what you see here. And then the proof of the pudding is Aviglio. That's a company Motorola acquired not such a long time ago. But what's a camera without analytics? And that's a camera with analytics. And that's just over here. Proof of the pudding? Yes, exactly what Paul Steinberg told me. Okay. About control rooms, control rooms are becoming more and more important in the decision making of police officers in order to understand the situation. What's it all about? A general problem that the industry generally recognizes within the control room environment is very siloed and uh, we see a, a great opportunity to really integrate those workflows uh, within the control room environment, break down the silos. And if you do that, you're able to reduce duplication, improve efficiency. Um, so you're having to avoid you know, multiple entries of information because all the systems are integrated. So one of the things we're trying to do with the control room environment, um, which we're calling the command center software, is to integrate all those workflows and also bring in some new capabilities, um, especially artificial intelligence. We see huge applications for that. Um, so Take for example, you have uh, an incident which is unfolding. Um, intelligence about that incident basically is coming in real time. And if you're having to monitor a lot of different sources, you know, video cameras, social media, sensors, that could be quite uh, stressful uh, for the operator. So we see artificial intelligence playing a role here. What, what we're doing there, we're bringing multiple feeds and creating this unified operating view of an incident. And that could be video camera feeds. But the key thing is, it's giving you the feed that you need at that point in time. So if you have a situation where uh, there's some unusual behavior going on, <laughs> you can have analytics pick that up and basically zoom into the camera that's picked up that movement. So that saves you looking for the right camera and it, it makes uh, that process a lot faster. So th this kind of changes the game, we think. Okay. I can imagine when you're a dispatcher um, trying to understand the situation in the field through artificial intelligence, that is definitely the future of dispatching. Understanding the situation actually before things are happening, dispatch your team towards a certain situation, towards a location like this here, the food room area in Berlin. That's the one over there. Something is happening there and that's being recorded by the cameras of Avilion. That makes the life of the dispatcher much easier, I think. By the way, are these solutions already implemented? These artificial intelligence solutions? Yes, they are. They are. So they are already implemented. Yesterday, I tried to, uh, to take this backpack actually from this, uh, from this man over here on the wall. I was not able to do that because it was connected through all kinds of wires. Now, it's not connected. So that means I can try and put this backpack on and really see if it's so light as Motorola solution is claiming. Is it? So, let me see. This is about, oh, that, that seems to be okay to me. So, then I should be able to take this baby out in the field. That means that it should be light, as I said. It should be easy to carry, at least for a few kilometers. And it all depends on the straps, the way it's being built, where the weight is being placed on this backpack. So, this is an LT backpack for critical communications in the field. 
actually as a matter of fact, if nobody really is, if nobody pays attention, After having my solder at the uh, Critical Communications Awards, now going to have my main course at Motorola Solutions. How bad is that actually? Let's see where Motorola Solutions has its dinner tonight. Hi there.